this is dragon videos i hope y'all are doing well welcome back to my channel and once again i am doing a has-been hotel video and yes part of a reason why is because i am a bit bored right now waiting on the news for has-been hotel to finally arrive so putting that information aside i thought it'd be best to come up with some speculations in regards to one of the most favored fees of the vax himself the big man i'm going to go over some aspects of his character that has yet to be discovered what we might learn in his backstory and what future may hold for our sinister shark tooth tv guy and without further ado let's begin <laughs> So, best to start off with this video talking about what we know so far about Fox. He is one of the three V's, the mastermind and strategist. Well, some of the strategists considering of how he flopped miserably in trying to set up a spy in the hotel. And of course, he is paranoid from what we can tell the, the cameras that are spreading about. And he has a sick beef with Alistair so we have yet to know why that is and then of course he's confirmed to be bisexual he has a very bizarre relationship with the other bees more apparent in valentino and then finally we definitely know he seems to have an affinity for some deep sea creatures considering that his meeting place is practically a massive tank of water Okay, so based on what is known so far about his beef with Alistair has something to do with their past, as Viv said, is being complicated and sad. My one fair guess is that Vox confessed his feelings, his romantic feelings for Alistair, and Alistair either just gave him a nonchalant reply or laughed it off, as we've sometimes seen him do. So it would make sense that Vox is kind of ticked off. And we've seen the song uh, Stayed Gone. We've seen of how he kind of acted like a bit of a bitter boyfriend or someone who's been jilted by their crush. So yeah, that possibility isn't too far out the window. And in terms of his backstory, I'd say that the source of his paranoia is probably during his childhood. He might not have had a very good relationship with his own family and seems pretty obsessed with perfection all the time. Maybe his mom abandoned him, maybe his dad was an alcoholic. Whatever that part will be, it may be the reason why he's so obsessed with control and why he handles Valentino's anger so easily. Maybe he's been around people or his dad that were very hot tempered so he learns of how to deal with it in the best way possible but it could also make it a bit sad because his obsession for control it definitely will lead him into a sense of self-destruction or make him unable to put his trust in the wrong people resulting in him being backfired in the worst way possible it would make it his own downfall as a result of that. But I guess we'll have to wait and see in season two. Yeah! Okay, I know redemption is a very slim chance happening here with any of the V's. And I know we want an irredeemable villain. I know Adam has already put that card down for us. But I also want to look at the possibilities of redeemable villains aside from Alistair possibly in the future seasons. For Vox, he's considered as the most reasonable according to Viv. How that may happen, it could take a long time, but it does feel like his obsessive need for control, again, as I said earlier, would backfire on him and put him at his lowest moments a similar way that happened with Serpentius. His needs to be valued, his constant need of having eyes on him, 
the result being de attention deprived could make him want to go to Charlie just for slim chances of attention. And I'm pretty sure if the root of evil shows up, the Vaggy, probably the most reasonable of the two, would probably convince him to try to take a different step in his approaches in life. And I'm pretty sure Alistair could also have an influence in his redemption. Mostly it would come off as him trying to rub it in Alistair's face in his all his petty glory. But I also feel like the more he opens up to the Hasbin Hotel gang, the more he may find himself able to let go of his feelings of insecurity and finally learn of not to rely on cameras to trust other people and being open a bit more. So these are just my thoughts and I'd like to hear yours. What do you think will happen in season two with Vox, our beloved V? Let me know in the comments below. Do a like and subscribe. This is Dragon Videos signing off.